Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. We have 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x minus 35 equal to 0. Now we are going to provide only the real solution to this problem. And you will see how simple it is for me to, to get it. Now we have 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x. Now what if I take this negative 35 to the right? It becomes positive 35, right? Okay. Now remember that I'm still trying to get the value of x. Now this is the same as 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x. Now I want to break 35 into 2, so I have 27 plus 8. Okay, 27 plus 8 will give us um, 35, right? Okay, so if we continue with this, 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x, this will be equal to 27 here is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3, right? Okay, now what about 8? 8 is also the same thing as 3. Okay, 8 is 2 to the power of 3. Yes. Now, what do we observe from here? Now, we are going to solve this by comparison. Okay, now we are going to compare the first term to this here. Then we compare the second to this. Right? Now, by comparison, we have that 3 to the power of x is simply equal to 3 to the power of 3. And from here, we also observe that our x should be equal to 3 because the bases are the same. Okay, now straight to the second um, term here that has x, we have 2 to the power of x to be equal to 2 to the power of 3. And then we are also having the same base therefore the powers should be the same so x is equal to 3 now compare the two here according to the first x is equal to 3 and according to the second x is also equal to 3 but let's go back to the original equation and see we have x to the power of x 3 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x minus 35 equals 0 and then we have got the value of x to be equal to 3 right so put it in we have 3 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 because x remains 3 minus 35 now the question is will this give us 0 what will this give us now 3 to the power of 3 is 27 then 2 to the power of 3 is 8. Then we're having minus 35. Do not forget that 27 plus 8 is still 35, right? So we have 35 minus 35. Trust me, this will be equal to 0. So this is to confirm that our x to be equal to 3 is very correct. Thank you for watching. But the question here is if you were the one how would you have solved this problem knowing that you're looking for only the real solution thank you for watching